So y'all gonna get to see me do something different this morning. Got a contract truck here and he's got a pole trailer behind him. You don't see many pole trailers anymore around here because the a lot of the mills won't even mess with unloading them here at all. The thing about a pole trailer is, is you can haul a lot more wood weight on it than you can a four bolster trailer like that. But on the flip side of that is, is you're limited on what you can load. You can't load, you can load short stuff on it, but you gotta load it in the middle of the load to be able to do it. And sometimes that can be tough if you're not in the right length stuff. Let's see here. All right, Frank. Get him, get him back in. I've got his ticket printed out, and uh, I'm gonna throw a load on him real quick. That's three loads I just loaded in under 15 minutes right there. This will be number four and then number five sitting down the hill to load him. So, so those pole trailers, they don't weigh nothing. They just a uh, tandem and a, and a pole between them right there. A lot of you guys on the west coast that like watch my stuff, y'all over like this right here because y'all have a lot of trailers like this. South, okay, that'll work right there. Down in the southern part of the state, there's a lot of those trailers like that too. Or he's gonna slide that trailer right there. He's gonna make that trailer longer. That's what he's about to do. And y'all gonna get to watch. Now he's gonna jump in the truck and he's gonna pull forward. That pipe's gonna slide right there. And it automatically gets a little bit longer then. Yeah, see that? Just like that, man. Here comes a crack wagon coming up in here pretty hot this morning. Look at him. <laughs> he ties his airlines back up. Cinches them up. There we go. Then we're gonna be ready. So that's the pole trailer I just loaded right there. There's uh 30 tons of wood right there. Yeah, man, anytime. 30 tons of wood on that trailer right there. We're going to pull up here and uh, load my dad. I'm gonna load him with some chipping saw. He's on the motor grader down there off the hill grading that road down there. Right now. Got to print him a ticket out too. I'll get that done real quick. This spot is finally starting to dry out up here on top of this hill. Finally. So we're done. I just got through greasing my loader here. We uh, got 20 today. That's what we loaded and got a massive pile to work with for in the morning to start off with. The timber plays such a huge role in what you can do. There it's coming on up the hill right there right now. Makes a big, big difference in your production. And this is some good running stuff right here too. So they talk about rain for Saturday, but we get, uh, Tomorrow will be Thursday, Thursday and Friday, and we'll be we'll be good. So went ahead, went ahead, knocked her on out, greased her, 
this evening so i want to deal with that in the morning or anything while it's a little bit warm this afternoon so we're finna hit the road here all right i'm about to grease with my uh, milwaukee grease gun here right quick i told y'all that we got 20 we actually had two more trucks come in after i'd gotten down so we got 22 and then today which is the next day we did get 20 today is what we got so we're on a roll for a good week right now dig this thing out right here right quick get my gloves i'll let y'all watch i'm gonna put my gloves on and grease her up let's see if i got enough <laughs> probably gonna run out oh gosh lovely i know i am like that. We're out of grease. Let me go get another two right quick. Alright. Some folks struggle with starting grease guns. Show you. air to it we get some air in it Never screw it all the way down. Only put a couple turns, maybe a turn, and then release it. And it'll get that. It let that thing go in there because it ain't got no air. See, it starts to screw it all the way down. Then she's ready to uh, rock and roll. Ready to rock and roll. That's how you always start a grease gun. Then if you have one that don't want to stop, you can start, you can pull it out and you turn this a half turn with it cracked open a little bit and push on it and it'll get all the air out of it and it'll start, it'll start every time if you do that. Easy peasy, man. Let me set y'all over here a little bit. See,
All right, so the grease gun is my favorite Milwaukee tool that I've got. I've had it over a year now. I got it in December of uh, 2017. And there ain't no telling how much grease I have pumped through this thing since I've had it. I was very adamant about not going to one. And I finally decided to give me one because we bought uh, two Lincoln grease guns. Uh, our dad had two of them over at the shop. And neither one of them were any count. They were cordless. They, were any, they wasn't any count. But this dude right here will get with the program. I've been very happy with it since I've had it. I'm gonna go put this up right quick. I'll come back and get my tube of grease there too. We did say I'll be right. I don't know how many tubes of grease that you could run through that five amp hour battery. Mine's an 18 volt too, by the way. On it, on one charge, but you could run a lot, man. I mean, because I grease every day that I'm here. And I grease my tractor and my lawnmower and all that stuff at home, bush hog, bit, disc. And I mean, I can run forever on one battery. Let me throw this thing in the garbage here right quick. Three phase power line, road, trees. You see these big big pines these are what i call thumpers right here this is going to be tomorrow's project oh y'all some people asked about the drone footage i said y'all gonna see some drone footage in which would be would have been thursday's video i did film it i filmed uh probably total between two days about 30 minutes of drone footage and so it's going to be kind of a standalone video. I didn't want to put it on the end of uh, Thursday's video. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut these tomorrow with a chainsaw. There's two big ones right there. So there's two, three, four, and five, and six. Six big ones for sure. Probably get that little one right there too. Get these down. Uh... So I get to show off my full gear from the Hush Bonner has sent me in that video. But anyway, talking about the drone stuff, I want to come down here and look at these trees. Talking about the drone stuff, somebody asked me in my life if he does not have ever crashed a drone or, you know, tore one up. And the answer to that was no. I've crashed it uh, three times and hadn't heard it. It wasn't very high. It was low. Hadn't heard it none. But I tell you what, I was filming Derek yesterday and i hope i got it all on film i was up really close to him and i was catching the trees as the top was coming down right in front of it i hadn't looked at none of the footage yet but anyhow he cut one and i was standing over there. i thought i had my distance right but i didn't and he cut one and he hit that thing with the pine he was throwing down a pine tree not one this big but it reached out a little bit further than what the other ones he had cut had reached and man it batted that drone like a baseball off a bat i mean it sent that thing to the ground the drone almost righted itself if it would have been a little bit higher it would have corrected itself before it hit the ground but it didn't it hit the ground it knocked the compass loose on it and so far it'll still fly without the compass i got it back up but i wouldn't take off with it with the compass so maybe y'all get to see if it got it all on film y'all will get to see it hopefully it did I want to come down here and look at these. I can get them, bore them. That's the beauty about boring them. You ain't got to worry about them. If you, you bore them, I'm going to do a class on bore sawing here shortly. This would be some good trees to do it on. But Derek can come down here on the 830 and he can help me. He'll be my wedge. That's what he'll be. And we'll get all these big ones down, no problem. Because the county hates and the power company hates for us to leave these trees like this because now there's no wind break behind them. So if the, if the ground's wet like it is right now, you have a good bit of wind, they come right across this road, hit that power line, block the road, big mess. So if we can get them, and man, if I needed them to come help block traffic for me, 
All I do is call them. They're coming a heartbeat to help me uh, block traffic for me to get these trees down. I get these down tomorrow. It'll be a good, good, good video too. I mean, very good video. <clears throat> Let's go to the house here. So if you like my stuff, please subscribe to me. Y'all know the spill. Mm. Head on. Uh, this job's been pretty good for us right here. We've got another one we're going to cut right after this one. Somebody asked me how many acres it is. I, I really don't know, to be honest with you, how many acres this job is. But uh, I don't know that we're going to be able to finish it. And I think we're going to get right because it's got a real low area down there. As much rain as we've had, it's too wet. So... With all that being said, we'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.